Eight months after Hurricane Maria hit Puerto Rico, the island is still struggling to recover. More than 16,000 people are still without any power in what is now the longest blackout in US history. Experts say the number of deaths attributed to the disaster has spiked to over 4,000, with at least a third caused by disruptions to medical care due to the electricity shortages. Mirela Sepulveda, who is confined to a bed after suffering a stroke a month after the hurricane hit, relies on a ventilator to help her breathe. The nights are a problem because if we don't have electricity at night, well then I'd have to turn off the equipment. And if I turn off the equipment, that would be giving her a death sentence. Hurricane Maria struck Puerto Rico in late September last year as a Category 4 storm. It barreled through the island, leaving thousands homeless, knocking the power supply out and triggering heavy flooding. The US response to the disaster was heavily criticised. President Trump came under fire for his silence in the immediate aftermath. And in a report five weeks after, UN experts said the support lagged far behind that provided for storm-struck states on the mainland. With the next wave of hurricanes not far off, residents are concerned how they'll cope. We heard the government last week say that Puerto Rico is ready for the next hurricane season. How are we prepared if 40% of the families in this town don't have electricity? After the US Army Corps of Engineers left Puerto Rico two weeks ago, the task of rebuilding the island's power grid now lies in the local government's hands. Many residents aren't optimistic that it will be restored in time for June, which is when the hurricane season officially starts.